Do you guys have a fly infestation right now? Yes. I'm about, I'm literally about. Because Leah likes to leave the, no (laughs) F-words. Not for the first 30. Leaves the door open so Rue can run in and out. out. Uh And I tell her all the time, close the door. There are 18 flies in this house. But I will tell you, if the door was closed, you'd still have it. Because we have a problem. Zach and Jared have a problem. Our doors are closed. With it. With it closed, we had fourteen in here earlier. Like we're so, talking about how like house flies, like the yeah. Yeah, yeah. fly. Where are they coming from? Like how do they get I, in the house? This then? happens every summer. Did you notice for the past few summers this has been happening? It's Remember so David's bad. house last year? Do you have pl- real well, live did, plants here? No. Basil. So, okay. Sometimes like uh flies will nest in like the roots of plants mm. and then that's where they come out of the plants. Right. David's house you can't even compare yeah. it. That dude's house is like a jungle now. Because if you look <laughs> yeah. at the corners the, of his house. And the moss wall. Oh, I bet it's the, breathing. Oh. I don't want to know what's living in there. Get a potted plant in the corner. It's that, be- it is beautiful though. Like it just. I, I don't, don't think it's beautiful. No? I never liked the wall. I t- dude, He was like, ta-da. I'm like, oh. <laughs> like what was there before? Oh, it was like a Spider-Man. Right? He, I think he must have. No, no, it's still up there. He must have seen it at a hotel or at a spa. and was just like, I need this. Oh, we are feeling nasty in. Yeah, that, that, real nasty. I, I, I don't care. Um, but yeah, the flies got to go. I'm over it. Get an electric fly zapper. Oh, I, I, fly- I, I pulled out my pump. I uh, just the salt pump one. Oh, Heath, I want to get one because that looks They're so fun. fun. It's it, it's literally like it, it looks exactly like a gun, but it shoots salt. Yeah, it's that's awesome. Making a game. It actually makes it really fun, and it gets them first try. Yeah. I think you should capture all the flies right, and then you paint them all a different color. Did you see the bag, one. the bag that I put out? The, well, the no. fly trap bag thing that's got like the oh is it like apple cider vinegar you put in it and then it like no it's, you you put it outside what's in it it's like this little like like tea bag that sits in the water and it's got a vent at the top that they can go in but they can't get out oh i'm not joking there was probably like 150 in this bag oh that's it make it look pretty oh the, no! whole, the whole bag full so of it's the disposable oh, fly horrible. trap but it works. I think it got every fly yeah. in the city. So we actually, so, so we actually saw Jordan in there too. He, he, <laughs> he was also caught in there. Someone at a party will think that's like a Franzia bag and be like, Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I, "Do you guys have an ant problem too, or is that just me?" No, no. I have an uh, ant oh, okay, problem. So you must I be leaving had, food out. Are you uh. on some playgrounds? Like where are you? <laughs> it's just I don't. Ants just keep coming in the house. I just see, keep seeing them oh, everywhere. No, there is a big ex- ant problem. An exterminator in that house. comes like. Every Every two weeks. Oh, you get, you're going to have to tent Every your other, house. what? You're going to have to tent. Ooh. <laughs> no, no, wait, do, do. That is the most embarrassing thing. Does an thing. Yeah. <laughs> make you tent? No, it's more for like termites. But there's nothing more embarrassing than driving by. It's like the termite house. <laughs> <laughs> and then if anybody gets termites in the next like six months, they blame you. Oh, yeah. bro. <laughs> it's like having the letter A on your, that, on your chest. That. Termites are like terrifying when you get them in your house. Like you have yeah. to like rebuild your entire home from like. <laughs> It's just there's no way you can kill them before that happens and just kind of fix it up sometimes or, or sometimes it gets so bad and people don't know and then you have the, the inspectors the come wood. and they'll stick their knife and it just goes into the wood like butter and then that means all of it has to be oh, redone. why did I <laughs> I thought termites were taking like chunks up so they pretty much just de- deteriorate the inside yeah. and you can't even really tell that yeah. they're there they make the it's wood like, just it's soggy like cancer for your house I kind of like that they are kind of bad you? look at that Oh, um, like if I if I if I were any little insect, it'd be a termite. Ew. Eat through wood. That means you can take anything. Is that- <laughs> <laughs> you think they talk about like the different woods? Hey, oh, would they you, would uh, love our I podcast. Had some, I had some maple wood earlier. <laughs> some oh, I had some elm for, for dessert. Ma- maple wood for breakfast. Mm. Some aspen. Ew. Wait, those are. T- I didn't know termites had. Wings. Yeah, they got the wings. Well, they like I did not know that kind of looking yeah, thing. Oh, love- that's you see, that's what I know. They look- yeah, termites. <clears throat> let's, let's jump into it. Let's jump in, baby. Ooh. Three, two, one. It's coffee talk, baby. Let's go. (laughs) 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 Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. We're your hosts. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are infested. Infested. (laughs) Nice. And we are unfiltered. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Oh, that's better. Zane and Heath infested. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys are sick. Oh, oh. yes. I like that. <laughs> right, write that one down. Season We're going to change five. this. 
Somehow the letters still work. We just shuffle them around. Yeah. Um, you guys just got back from wedding shopping. How'd that go? It was really good. All we need is an S. Mariah. Wait, wedding the letters are in wedding there. Out <laughs> wait. She's she's rearranging in her head. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wedding shopping, like wedding outfit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wedding okay. shopping, wedding outfits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah know. Joe yeah. and Caitlin's specific enough. <laughs> not, not specific. Joe and Caitlin's wedding is this weekend. Woo! We're very excited. God, that, what got me excited was the venue. The venue is insane. sick. They said it's going to be like very Italian themed. So I am on cloud nine. <laughs> oh my, you try to look better than the bride because it's an Italian wedding. Well, I deserve it. <laughs> I was trying to find something obviously Italian. I wanted like a, like a lemon lime type vibe. Ooh, okay. Like you know? color for your suit? Yeah. It's black tie. We no, They it, told us we could wear whatever color we want. But black tie isn't always you, black. They would say black tie, please wear all black. Black tie means like formal. Oh. I just learned this I thought too. about gave me a heart black attack. Black suits. Black tie is formal attire. So not cocktail, not casual. It's like really nice. So like your friend Vince's wedding, that's, his, his, that his was, said all black. That was black tie, please wear all black. Oh. So they have to announce that. I guess that. we need to update our wedding website because ours is black tie, but I assume black ties, you wear black to the wedding. Oh, you should definitely yeah. tell yeah. everybody. Yeah. I've never heard that ever. Oh, okay. All right. I thought I'd have to wear black. I thought I, 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 ju I just, I'm, I just I'm learned this I'm the only one that week. shows up in a lime green suit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the no, hell? we'd all be showing it up. It also in. helped that she posted. She actually made a TikTok saying like what I would wear as a guest to my wedding. And like, it was all pinks and oranges and yellows and greens. Like she wanted like bright colors. Oh, so black, oh wait, that is a good idea to give people so like good. a range of yes, colors. So good. That's really good. So there's not, a specific color, but black tie is very formal. I went to this like suit shop today and I swear, I'm just like not good with fashion at all. I constantly have to send pictures to all my friends just to get their input on everything. He was, he was sending I, me pics. He was like, what do you think about this? I'm yeah, like, oh, like I was specifically really sending to him, Mariah and Danielle. I sent it to the three of them just to get their um, input. And I'm like, I they put me in this like really nice, like teal blue, it was, it felt Italian to me, like that it was color. Very, yeah. So and it was a three piece suit. Yeah, it was, it was a three nice. piece suit. I was like, okay, that, that, this yeah. is good. And they didn't have like much tie options, right? But like, I felt like it had to be loud yeah. because everything else was like formal. And they pull out this like black tie with yellow polka dots, and they put it on. I'm like, no, 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 no. But everybody was like, oh my god, it's perfect. A black tie with yellow yes. polka dots. And everyone's like, and I'm like. What's you it? guys are like messing like, with me, right? It's like the Le Pittsburgh Steelers. I, like what the <laughs> look? And then Leah's like, no, Zane, like you don't understand. This looks really good. I was like, you guys are like fucking with me. I sent it to Heath. I sent it to Brian. We, Daniel. I hearted Every the, that tie. Everybody, I liked everybody, the first one too. Everybody was like, yep, that tie is really good. I'm like, there's no way. It, ties are so weird because those people that build the suits that help you out, they will match a ridiculous tie on a weird color that doesn't match. And I'm like, why would your brain go to this? Yeah. I would always pick something in line with the suit color but i feel like there's like i feel like there's a difference between stylist and someone that can put a tie yeah. and, a, and a shirt and a suit together it is like a dip because the the shapes you have to work with most of the time to me they, it doesn't make sense but they're right. like oh no this makes sense and they're always and, changing the rules on what works you never go pattern on pattern but now pattern on pattern is cool yeah yeah i would i just like would trust my own self i think you should go hunt for your own look on the internet go find some a look that you do like and then just get close to that right no because that's just disappointing <laughs> i'll find like ryan gosling pictures right and then i'll be like i want to look like this and then i'll try it on <laughs> just look like ass. It's like mannequins, man. Mannequins, you make anything look yeah, good. Yeah, like, that's like showing up for uh, a haircut with a picture <laughs> like, <laughs> of a model. Wait, you're not you're wearing like a formal tie tie to the wedding. Uh, not yeah. a bow tie. Oh not my. a bow tie. Damn, I, I go like, back and forth. It all depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah. I got a tie, but with a, a shirt that has like a hard, stiff collar so I can take the tie off and then open it up. Let the chest meat breathe. Wait, what do you mean? And Is it like a clip-on nice. tie? No, it's a real tie, but the shirt that I got has like a really firm collar. So it's like, yeah, it's one that you would wear without a tie. Oh, so okay. you can like open it up and like, you know, it's like status It's like 80s you, Italian on. Good, good. I, I, I've also noticed every uh, for the past, like four times, every time I go to a suit shop, I always end up ordering the one off the mannequin <laughs> every single time. And I feel so that, bad, but no, like, that's what they're there I for. think that's what they, that's, yes. they want you There's to order. There's people that the, go in and their job <laughs> is to style the mannequin. 
It's crazy. It works. It works. Yeah. It I helps. love how you called it. Ordered it like it was a dollar menu. <laughs> well, yeah, I like, ordered it there. Yeah, I can like, I get the uh, number one <laughs> but, with the um, number two pant? It's funny you said that because like th- what I wanted today was a picture of a guy in a suit on the wall, and I was like, I want that. I want to look yeah, because but, sometimes you can't envision it in your head. Yeah, so you have to see it on. But something. that just shows how important those guys are, and especially who you get to model. Because the guy that was wearing the suit that I liked, yeah, fully tatted up, and I was like, I can't tell if the suit's cool or he just looks really cool. Yeah. Right. I was like, which one is it? Because I'm not gonna look like that. And that's why models get paid them big bucks, man. Gosh, so much a, a beard actually can enhance an outfit so yes. much. Yes. I've noticed that guys who have beards or the mustache, like you know those dudes who just like, yeah, like guys who pose like their fits on like. TikTok yeah, yeah, and yeah. Instagram. It's always, they all have mustaches. And, and, None of them don't just, have facial you get, a, you get away with everything. It's yeah. like, oh, he's a cool guy. He has a beard and mustache. Oh, he could dress like a clown and he still makes it look good. Yeah. I it has a good balance. It's a balance. Yeah. Especially like, if we were to put on stuff, it would look like we were playing dress up. <laughs> <laughs> if you have like tattoos and a beard, you can rock it and somebody would see that picture and be like, oh, he always dresses like that. Yeah. But they don't have to. Right. Yeah. You know, if I came out where, like, you know, with like a briefcase, <laughs> just, like, sitting, people would be like, "Okay, <laughs> uh, no." Who does this guy think he is? Um, yeah, we got our stuff picked out. She got a dress and uh, ready to rock and roll. Hell yeah. yeah! I'm really excited. It is wedding season, and I am tired because <laughs> I am this because this journey. I can't like I, I'm not supposed to be drinking, right? We we did the bachelor party in Nashville. Uh, I, yeah. I had to drink. You you have a civil duty to drink at. People shit. It's yeah. like you can't. Yeah. And I told myself that I was, you know, I don't need to drink at Matt's party. I can have fun without it. But like I knew in my head that everybody was going to like I was gonna I was gonna look miserable because I'm sober the whole time. <laughs> and then Matt's gonna be pissed at me because I look miserable. And also, you, you're the drinking guy. Exactly. And he put me in when he made the the uh, party list, like uh, his brother made like a whole itinerary and then did this picture where he like named each person like the- And their the ma- attributes. The, yeah, Mike yeah, Sheffer, like- the manager, the poet, the the marketer, the-, the yeah, 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 yeah. Mine was the hooligan. <laughs> oh, oh, and the hooligan is not gonna drink this weekend. So not only like, am I- disrespecting him i'm kind of like You're letting everybody down letting everyone yeah. down because they're like oh wow the hooligan <laughs> is not that fun so. did you push it to excess though i feel like you still had a good time but like you didn't like go full tilt there was one night i didn't remember so i could say <laughs> i blocked out one night and and i feel like it's easier now because like my body is so like pure <laughs> lately so my body's just not used just to it one it's in shock done. yeah but i behaved that first night you did we should tell them let, let's run, yeah, let's run yeah, our trip. Me, okay, the Give first the night. Okay, so we got into Nashville. Uh, we checked into our house. Wasn't as like spooky or in a bad neighborhood as we thought the I last actually, episode. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of forgot about that whole thing after. Yeah, the, I know we even, all did. It wasn't that bad of a neighborhood either. No, like, it, was pretty, it wasn't. It was but, just a sad story Yeah, about the what fact happened. that someone like was like shot in there. A shot pretty, on the stoop and Pretty died. wild. Um, so yeah, we all got in. We all checked in. Uh, we went out to dinner, but then everyone started trickling in. And then by the time we we went out, we went out on Broadway and then you and Todd. Yeah, they, joined they, up. they went to the, so it's what's crazy about like, so we were on the strip where all the bars are. What's crazy about the strip is that every other bar is owned by some country singer, right? Yeah. Man, Miranda Lambert's bar. We got Luke Bryan's bar. Kid we Rock got bar. Morgan Wallen's bar. We got all these country singers bars. Cool. And cool. I think that's the best way to sell it because, oh, I want to go to, I want to go to Luke Bryan's bar. Let's all mm-hmm. go there tonight. And apparently, these country singers are always going to their bars, which is That's like, cool. which I didn't think happens a lot, but like, I, it, we didn't see Miranda Lambert at Miranda yeah, Lambert. No, we if we didn't, didn't see but, her, it'd be like selfie. <laughs> <laughs> but these bars were done very well. Yeah. Really cool looking bars. So the lights, many levels, so many levels too. Yeah. They just keep going and going. And, and they um, were right about every bar is on the third floor and every bar has a live band. I, I thought it was like yeah. kind of an over-exaggeration. It was just everywhere. It was very, very lively. Good, good. Everybody was, it what was we out. expected or the, the, the just the whole Nashville trip in general. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. How late are the bars open till over there? Are they later than I think here? Till like three. Three? Three. Yeah. Is, All right, that's is, late. I can't even that's remember. Late. I didn't yeah. even like keep track of the time. I just like followed the vibe. Yeah. There was never a moment where I'm like, oh, we have to go home now. Yeah. Dude, because if, if we were just drinking all day. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> we all we all get there. Sounds fun. Yeah, was, Matt, Matt, was, Matt was blacked out. The, the second I saw him, because in my head I was like, I got, I'm got. i gonna stay pure tonight. We saw the whole weekend. I see all of them and they're all 
So I was like, oh no, oh no, I gotta get out of here. Walking because I, into I, that must have been the worst. Oh no, it, it, no. Like, it was nice, but like I knew they were no, just for, like, wor like worse for your goal. Oh yeah. yeah, my goal, no. Yeah, I was gonna be out the door. Did anybody lose anything? Surprisingly, no. no. Did you wow. lose anyone? Oh wait, wait, I did my wallet for like an hour. Remember? <laughs> wait, wait, that wait. was scary. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I I was at I was at the hotel and I was being responsible and at the gym and I was like running on the treadmill and I had all my stuff on there and then um I was like I'm done. I grabbed my stuff. I go straight to my hotel room and then I'm like, oh, where's my wallet? Oh, I must have left left at the gym. Go down to the gym. It's just gone, <laughs> disappeared. I'm going back and forth, back, and now I have like 20 oh, minutes until we have Saturday, to leave. This is Friday, right before? Friday morning, yes. yeah. And I this, remember being like, we have where to, are Zane? We have to be on the Honky Tonk Express uh -huh. by like 12.30 <laughs> p.m., and we cannot be late because this thing goes all the way across like the city. Right. To do, to, it's, a, it's a whole day once you get on. Once you miss it, you're fucked. And I can't find my wallet, and you need an ID everywhere because there's right. bars everywhere. And I can't find it. I'm going back and forth. I'm going to the front desk. I'm like, guys, have you seen a wallet? They're like, no, we're so sorry. I go back to the gym. I'm asking everybody at the gym. No, no, we haven't seen it. And you know, you know, there's times where like you lose something. You're like, yeah, no, I lost it. I really fucked. But there's times where things just vanish. And this was one of those times <laughs> where like, this thing just vanished on me. It just, and I thought it was God telling me to not go out. Keep going on this journey. Right. This it's, a it's just a challenge. This is just something right. you're going to have to push through. And, and for, for about 30, 45 minutes, I call Todd. I'm like, Todd, I'm about to head to the airport. I, you couldn't I, even fly I back was about without to, your ID. No, no. I was going to go to the airport to, t to just to notify them that my ID is gone and to give me this. Kind right. Of, give you the pick. To give me some sort of receipt yeah, that yeah. I have my ID. And I was going to go right back home. Because I was like, what a horrible start to this. I was, cause I was Wait, just, it was only gone I, for an hour and this was where your brain was? This is where my brain was. Because I was like, this, you, you know me. Drop a little mama. I remember the, the bus pulled up and I checked like Zane on find my friends still at the hotel. And I, <laughs> well, you guys know me when something really bad starts off in something, usually yeah, yeah. I, it's either I'm gonna have a miserable time or I just have to get out of there. Yeah, like, yeah, I just, yeah. There's and that no was one between. of those moments where I'm like, it's better for everybody if I just get on that plane and go home and just kind of just let it fizzle out in my head and then I'll be good. You and don't want to bring that back to the whole group. No. Exactly, yeah. never, yeah. ever, ever. So I, <laughs> look, I go back in the gym and I swear I am fucking flipping these <laughs> treadmill. I'm like, where is it? I know it's in here. And then I look down and there's this hole that all the wires come out from, right? Okay. To, to, oh my God. To, like, oh all the treadmills. my. I look in and it's just, Buried in there. No way. Buried it, like almost like someone took like it. Like a rat. There's maybe. no way. <laughs> like a freaking rat. Like a rat. There's no way this wallet fell off the treadmill and, and fell into this hole. Yeah. You have to, you have to somebody threw stomped oh, it down in think? it. I could I could see somebody having a bad fucking day and just Bro, it was it was lodged in there. Lodged. But you Anyways. found it. Anyway, yeah, but I got it. That's, a, that's actually beautiful for your journey. Because <laughs> you know why? That should have been like a nice analogy or something. I'm probably using that word wrong. But you used to lose your wallet at the bars, at the clubs. Now right. you're losing it at the gym. You're going up. Now you're just going to lose it like in your bedroom. <laughs> you know, Mariah, you're your, right. Your bathroom. In a bathroom. In all bathroom. right, all right. I, I don't know. I like, I it's like that. It's kind of beautiful. I love that for you. Very poetic. Thank, thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. At the gym. Yeah. At the gym. I was at, you know, you remember when I said I was going home the night before? Yes. <laughs> Went to the gym. Did you really? How many times did Zane threaten to go home the whole week? <laughs> the thing is, I didn't even like notice though. Like anytime you were gone or when you were there, I, we were partying the whole time. It didn't stop. Uh, and it, tell him about the hey Honky no. Express. Okay, so we got to the Honky Tonk Express. They shuttle you out the Sprinter van. You get to this like, I'm gonna say an airport, but like all of these other like bachelorette parties are all getting onto uh, these massive, almost like, what do you call it? It's what you would take on a... Uh, a barn uh, trip or a hay, uh, a a hay ride. ride, like a hay ride style, like float situation. <laughs> you pump music. We all had funny hats on and we just like drove around. The thing is, when you're at Nashville, there's tons of these. They're everywhere. I don't get everybody who saw us was like, yeah, oh, this is hilarious. It looked like we were like Oprah driving through the city. Everybody loved 
Really? Like these buses driving through. Nobody Every else time, is doing it? Everybody else I, is doing it, but I couldn't believe just how many people, people like, are like, this like, is awesome. If I was walking through, I'd be like, Cool. There, I've seen. I guess plenty. that was like us recording everybody that went by in Scottsdale. Yeah, oh. in Arizona, they they had the bicycle bars. And oh, they, they were everywhere, but we were recording. But also think about it: this street is mostly the tourists. Right, that's true. So they I guess probably so. haven't seen it. That's very. And you know, Mariah. Cool. Not only did they have like honky tonk buses, they had like army trucks. They had, <laughs> oh, they had the bike themes? bars. They had different oh, styles cool. of, of different just cars. caravans and buses that's throughout cool, the whole though. city. It was so cool. And then he would like go past like a bachelorette party. Everyone's like, hey, when's your wedding? Oh, ours is this date. Did oh. anyone have the same date as you? Yes. Yeah. A handful, oh, wow. a handful of people uh, had the same date they, as me. It was, I didn't expect it to be that bachelor, bachelorette, like party filled. Like everywhere, it it really was just everywhere, everywhere. you look. There's a bachelorette party. I didn't see many bachelor parties. I felt like we were like the only bachelor. I felt like party we were the only out. bachelor party there too. There <laughs> they, was like no guys, unless they were dressed up normal and not like, you know, usually girls not are all like matching. Crying out and, for attention. I'm yeah, like, usually. Yeah. Oh, and then like people, and then remember we were seeing that one bachelorette party and we all had funny hats on. Funny, funny phrases, they were unique to every guy. They were. And I thought he, they were custom made. I was like, oh no, you found this, these on the internet. I'm like, that is really And say, do you remember that one bachelorette girl was like, what's your say? That's not funny. What's yours? <laughs> That's kind of funny. And oh. I go, let's read your shirt. And it just says, getting drunk. And I'm like, hilarious, <laughs> hilarious shirt. People like they, they just love touching you. They're just, they're very disrespectful. Just the drunk people out there. Just <laughs> very. Like, just like handsy. Just, yeah. just like, 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 like man, don't, like, don't, don't touch me. Like, yeah, I didn't yeah, ask yeah. you to touch me. And yeah, that, you that was that, that was that one. What? You were assaulted? <laughs> no, I wasn't assaulted. <laughs> no. But, um. Maybe and, at they, one no, point. they're just, just, just like, <laughs> nah. just that, the the little honky tonk little gathering area. There's just like a, quite a few nasty people that just like right. they had no like boundaries. Boundaries, yeah. Hmm. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, BetterHelp. Sometimes in life, we're faced with tough choices, and the path forward isn't always clear. Whether you're dealing with decisions around career, relationships, or anything else, therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life so you can move forward with confidence and excitement. Exactly. Trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values is like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. So if you've been thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, and it's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. And it's so simple. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. And the best part of all is that you could do it from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to go anywhere, wait in any lines, spend any gas money. You could just stay at home. You could do video calls, uh, text messages, voice chats if you don't want them to see you. And it's so easy. And it's nice to get unbiased opinions from people that you don't know. You know, we're always talking to somebody, our best friends, our mm -hmm. parents. And it's good to just talk to somebody that doesn't know who you are that's going to give you like good, good advice. So let therapy be your map with BetterHelp and visit BetterHelp.com slash Zane and Heath today. And you're going to get 10% off your first month. Exactly. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you, and thank you for helping all of our listeners. But oh, it was fun. It but was it was fun. fun. And then we got uh, back to the house. I think, yeah, that's what we did. Because then we were getting ready to go out to dinner, and then there was like a knock at the door. And I was like, oh, it's no. your neighbor. We Wake have a, up. Hold up. We're having a hold down. I was, <laughs> he goes down. Sorry. I was like, oh, no. And they're like, Matt, there's someone here to it's see the you. the stripper. And then I was like, you got to be kidding me. Because I'm with like my soon-to-be brother-in-laws. And I'm like, no, no, this is not what I wanted. It's a guy in a suit. And we're, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> and he's like, hey, uh, um, I forgot his name. It's like Omri, Om Amory. He's like- The light needed to be changed. I'm magician? A ma magician. magician. Oh, no. And I'm like- It's that we gotta keep it clean. Okay, yeah, I love magic. And at first I'm expecting like, I don't know, some like cheap magic. Yeah. Like, some like honky tonk oh, magic. You know, you know, the coloring book and it's like, they turn it the other way and it's all colored oh, yes. or just like a little rabbit out Honestly, of the hat. that probably would have been. That's really I good. That. I still don't know. For a bunch of drunk guys, that's pretty good. <laughs> This guy, first thing he does is he like introduces himself. I think he did like kind of one card trick. Oh, he got my buddy to sign a card, okay? And then he folds it up and he makes it already disappear out of his hands. We're like, whoa, that's cool. And then he goes, <laughs> see this wallet that's on the uh, table here? Let's just open up this wallet. He goes, he opens up the wallet, pulls out another wallet. And then inside that wallet, is another wallet. This has been sitting on the table the entire time. Whose wallet was it? Uh, it was, it was his, well, it was his wallet. <laughs> and then he oh, gets onto his tiny wallet, opens <laughs> it up, lost. 
He opens it up and it's like the the signed uh, card that my friend did. We're like already, whoa, whoa holy shit. Then he goes, who here's already married? And uh, one of my buddies is like, I do. And he goes, can I see your uh, your ring? Mm -hmm. And he like takes the ring, makes it like disappear. Like his hands are all up here. <laughs> and like, then pulls fun. out. Then pulls out his, uh, go. <laughs> and then pulls out, a, <laughs> and pulls out his keychain, and there's the ring on it, already yeah, like fused cool. to another thing. And then we're like, whoa! And then he does another one. I'm, he has a whole bunch of uh, cards that have our billiard balls. Okay, uh -huh. so it's like you know the ace of clubs, but it's on like uh, another billiard ball. He's like, pick any of these. I pick one. He goes, are you sure? And I'm like, nah. I hate when they do that. No, you know what? And it was the first time I was like, no, I'm gonna go with another one. And it's like a yellow six ball or whatever. And he goes, okay, cool, does something. And then opens up his wallet, his thin wallet, <laughs> sit down. A ball? And the full solid ball is <laughs> no. in it, man. Oh my no. God. And pulls it out, plunk right on the table, hard Shut full up. on billiard ball. Wow. Right now, as guys, we were like, holy I'm, shit. We This guy was I like, freaking. wild. We thought he was like the next Messiah. We thought he was like <laughs> Jesus coming back. And it then was, you know what happened after? Took off all his clothes. He was the stripper yeah. also. Yeah. Yeah. That would I be was funny. like waiting, to, like, is this going to turn into a strip show? And he just did one trick after another, and it was mind blowing. And I loved how much like That's everyone cool. else there like did like were so. We were it. close to just staying there for the rest of the night <laughs> because more. we were like more, more. This is like insane. Nobody wants to go out. And it is funny how when somebody's doing magic in front of you, it's never enough. You're like, show me another one, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then they do it. And you're you like, know what's even crazier? There was one trick that uh, Crawford, one of Matt's uh, friends there. He filmed the entire trick. There was one trick. He really filmed the entire thing. And you see the hands, you see the everything. And you're slowing down the video and you just cannot understand how something like just Yeah. I don't happens. understand. Like I understand sleight of hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can do stuff. But I don't get when you see the magician's full hands and they just make the object disappear. Like where did it go? That I don't understand. That one gets me every it's time. It's magic, Matt. And he's not like, is he wearing long sleeve? I don't remember. He was wearing a suit. So, I, and you know ah, what? There is, there is a trick behind. But it's still extremely hard to be that subtle. Yeah. That's this why guy he couldn't was... be a stripper because he couldn't hide it under his clothing. <laughs> and then the last one up his sleeve, uh. bomb. And then, <laughs> no. <laughs> Tommy gun, second <laughs> shooting in the house. Everybody get on the ground. <laughs> And then, uh, and then Can we, everybody guess the number. <laughs> <laughs> That's the number on the bomb. Yeah, right. How long you have. Zane, Zane, don't be wrong. <laughs> don't be wrong. You sure you want to go with that number? <laughs> <laughs> and then we went out again that night, which was great. And then, what, then what was what was that one thing that you brought up that was like, there's no way you brought up. Um, I think it was like a whole other different story related. It wasn't. It, oh, it wasn't like it was a story. I, it didn't happen during the weekend. I brought it up. You a brought it up time later. And you were like, really? I know. I can't remember uh, what okay. it was. So, okay. I, I thought it was something Nashville related, but I don't know. We went out again. And then the next day we went on a pontoon saloon. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it got to rhyme? <laughs> and it, this pontoon saloon. So we thought it was just going to be ours, right? Like our own little pontoon. Usually they're not that big. Well, they're small. I knew that they're we, small. I knew that we were getting paired up though with another bachelorette party, okay? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be us and another bachelorette party. We get down to the dock. We were worried because we were like, what if these people like are just, just not fun. I'm on or, my fourth or <laughs> We are just here to have we're, a ball. We were just oh so gosh. worried. And we're, you know, we're usually good at like, you know, random people, but like there's, there's always that time where it's just, one right. group and you're yeah. just like, oh God, get me off. And that's why we were right down by the dock. We were like, try to get a sense of like, are we all about to get split up? We met some like uh Canadian bachelorette party that were young, like our age. We were like, you guys should stick with us. And then the guy's like, oh no, all of y'all are going on the same boat. And it's like four different bachelorette parties and us. And these bachelorette parties were from all over the country, all different kind of age groups. And uh, yeah. yeah, so we all got on there. We went How down. How many people on this boat? That's a lot. Yeah, I can't even imagine. I think there was maybe like, like 50. 50. Holy! What? It was huge. It, yeah, it was like that big. Standing room only? Yeah, that's how big it was. Oh, uh, you could like sit oh, in the front. Oh, that is really big. And we made ourselves known at that 
I think some we, of them were like, these boys are getting nah, out of hand. Remember, we were the first ones on and we like took the table in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the ladies were not happy about that. Oh, I'll <laughs> never forget that when like the guy was like announcing, explaining the rules of the boat. Guys, this is where we think, oh, and there's this middle table here. We're going to play some flip cup. It seems like these guys already made themselves comfortable. <laughs> oh. And one of the bachelorette girls was like, I know, can you believe that? <laughs> she like said that and I was like right next to her. But it's like, if they got on first, it would have taken the middle table too. It's the best, it's the best table in the house. First come, first serve. And that's exactly what we did. We, it was a, our southern southern uh, hospitality. But we did like flip cup musical chairs where like you battle it down. Oh, and it, gets- it was real white on that <laughs> fucking pontoon. It was real, <laughs> real white. What, what, we did a, the ch- the chonga line. What's they called? The chonga line. line. The, chonga, <laughs> the fucking the fucking conga line. Yeah, it's like, you know bro, it, saying, we've we've done that in worse spots. <laughs> we did yeah. it on a jet. We have done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, look, we did that. Making fun of it, right? Yeah, yeah sarcastically. We, I think we just did a one around. lap and then it was <laughs> yeah, over. Like, yeah, like like like, you it. like hope one person films it and you're like, all right, that's good. <laughs> and then and then there was like a dance battle. Was there like a bartender on the boat? Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But you, you know, had to bring coolers. your own drinks Dude, on. There were like eight coolers in like eight it's different areas. It's kind of areas. better to bring your own than pay yeah. for, I'm sure. Filled be. with beer. It was nice. the best. You could walk, could, you could walk, walk around could with you alcohol jump off? too, right? No, no, no. Now, there's somebody, and I remember people are replying to my shit saying that, oh, do not jump in that lake. It's not like, you know, some <laughs> lakes are just like, you do not jump in. That was one of them. Hmm. It was like very green. It was like a very dirty lake. When you looked at it, you're like, oh, you know, not. <laughs> that's that's a lake that dogs were dying like that. But it was a blast. It was such a good time. And it's it's funny when you have your a bachelor party group, it's a, it's a whole different collection of guys Meeting from your life. Time. And I yeah. love seeing how everyone was. It reminded just me along. like that was back. Uh, like I felt like I was back in high school. You know when you go to like a house party and you're like with a bunch of your friends' friends. And you don't know any of them. It's yeah. kind of awkward. I I got that sense of nostalgia from back from high school. It's just like oh I I feel like I have to like you know I really have to mm-hmm. be funny and try to make myself known a little bit to these guys. But no, it was it was really it was really awesome. And and the itinerary that your brother made, I'm surprisingly everything like went well like nothing was just oh yeah because it was raining so hard the oh, morning no. of the pontoon oh, it was and we like, were like this oh, is man. not gonna go good and then just the sun came out and it looks like it didn't even rain it's like, it's that like florida day. it's like very pi- bipolar weather yeah right. like it just like that it'll change couldn't recommend it enough it was a great time look nobody got arrested nobody got in a fight you guys are 30 i hope not <laughs> no no I, I, there was a few people I, i'm surprised there was no fight Someone in really? my group almost got in a fight. Uh, no, I'm nobody almost got into. I'm, I'm just surprised at a fight. I can see Todd fighting somebody in that. You see, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. Yeah, I, I see some of my high school buddies would get it. So yeah, Todd, it Todd loves to fight when he oh, when, when he gets enough drinks. Uh huh. Th- that boy becomes a WWME fucking fighter. You were you know so what I'm close. Saying? Oh, you were WWME. So close. WWME. I was just picturing like my experience with my sister's bachelor and your guys, <laughs> I pictured like cutting back and forth between the two and you guys are like going hard and then it cuts to us and we're doing paint and sip at the house. <laughs> <laughs> we have like Frank Sinatra playing and yeah, we're painting right. martini glasses. It's so funny in the itinerary, you don't put in there that you're gonna be very drunk the whole time. Uh-huh. So like we didn't do two of the dinners on the itinerary because oh, we were yeah, just we, like, oh, let's just keep, we gotta keep going. Keep Cause you, you can't like sit down at a dinner when you're like, Hammered. <laughs> Already we went to that Italian restaurant. Oh, Zane, we were Zane making said the food a was amazing ruckus. there. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my Heath, the food everywhere. Oh. Incredible. Anybody get what barbecue? What was the best spot? Uh yeah, I did have barbecue over at some what bar. Oh, it was the Florida Georgia line. The, bar. Yeah, the, it was called Oh, no, no, it, I would have loved almost, that. Almost. Oh no, almost Friday. I thought that Oh, was, that food at Almost Fridays was amazing. I'd go back just for the food. Yeah. I couldn't believe, no. I, you know, Friday beers, you know, it's like there's bars yeah. for sports, Friday beers, they have their own bar there. And yeah, they hooked us up with brunch. And yeah, I was expecting like bar food. This was delicious. It's the best when you go to a place like that and the food is amazing. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I like sent like a text to the owner of like Friday beers. I'm like, you guys are killing it out here. How was the Italian food? Oh, delicious. So, yeah, I mean, I was, I, I, was, I was very drunk. Did you get a Na- <laughs> Please tell me you got a Nashville hot chicken sandwich. You know what? Oh, he, bro. That no was, way. Way. It was on the itinerary, but we just didn't get around to doing it. Damn, Damn. Yeah. no, that was, that was silly that we didn't do that. You have to, I, I mean, I can't really eat really 
eat fried chicken, but like I should have tried a fried chicken. Out yeah, there. we should. Fried chicken. Was there anything like historical? Did you do research when you were <laughs> around so, there? Mariah, Mariah. Well, I know Matt would look it up. I'm just curious. Mariah, I was so drunk when I was on that river. I'm like, uh, this is the Mississippi, right? <laughs> and they were like, no. I would have been. I would have been like. Like historical fun facts near me. Uh, something. Mariah, I was hammered. Right, honestly, it would have been really nice to, like if you were there sober, just a tour guide. Oh my gosh. We would, I'd be, we would have been able to hit everything. Me and Google would You know be. what I learned though? Those pedal bikes though? Yeah, the they, pedaling they do doesn't anything. matter. It doesn't do anything. I know. <laughs> we, we found said, that out We too. said that, yeah. <laughs> um, the... I was gonna say something. The oh, you know the the podcast, the Barcelona Sports like yeah. company. They have their own like bar, and it's like one of the biggest bars in what? Nashville. Oh my gosh, I've been living under yeah, a damn giant, rock. giant damn. night. Like, what is it? Would you consider that a nightclub or? Oh uh, yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a nightclub. It's almost like bottled blonde. Yeah, it, where it's it felt like, like right, bottled right. blonde. Mm -hmm. Where it's like a sports bar during like the day, and then at night it just turns into a club, but not like a douchey club. You know what I mean? Like, nice. yeah, it was pretty great. And the DJ, oh my God, played some of the best mashups I've ever heard. Oh, really? Usually I don't like mashups. There were a few where I was like, that was pretty good. I'm surprised mm. that you remembered that. Yeah, I just remember I being like, this DJ's killing it. Yeah. Um, Anyways, it was a great time. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, SeatGeek. If you don't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets to live events super simple. We've got the app on our phones and it's by far the best way to buy tickets. Whether it's concerts, baseball, football, festivals, or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying super simple. Right now, there's a ton of hot artists performing right now. We got mm. Taylor Swift, we got Drake, we got Post Malone. I actually just went to a Taylor Swift concert, and of course, baby, you know how I got my tickets through SeatGeek. Did you get it on a red dot or a green dot? No, I got it on a green dot. Ooh. It was expensive, but I got the best price I could have possibly got, but... They're expensive. It's Taylor Swift, baby. I mean, you get what you pay for. And if you didn't know, they want to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're in the app, look for the green dots. Green means it's a good deal. And red means it's a little pricey. And don't worry, baby. We've got the hookup. Use code unfiltered for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code unfiltered. Make sure to click the link in the description to download the app. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring today's episode. And thank you for being the best ticketing app anybody can buy tickets at, baby. We love you. I don't think any of our guys found love. I did. Did you? You did? I think you did. <laughs> did. Oh, yeah. did. Yeah, Zane, you did. I did, I did. Was it at Barstool? I think no, so. No, no, it wasn't at Barstool. It was at- Nashville uh, Local? Miranda or, Lambert? Or Miranda Lambert. I it guess was it was. Miranda Lambert? Miranda, Miranda Lambert. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just, you know, you got to get a little crazy for the bachelor party. <laughs> <laughs> you were alone. <laughs> Real log. What else happened in the world? Did What's you hear about the update with The Blind Side? Yes. Michael. Wait, I'm sorry. What? So do you remember the movie The Blind Side? Yeah. Uh, One with, of my favorite movies. You know, it's based on a true story. Okay. Yeah. Did you hear the I, actual new true story that just came no. out? No. Oh, terrible. God damn it. Terrible. I, I, wait, I actually did not hear about it's this. It's awful. Well, explain what you know. Oh uh, my God. This is fucking horrible. That's a great movie and a great story. Well, it's not the movie's fault. It's it's the real life family. No, it's fault. Sandra Bullock's fault. <laughs> freaking the freaking bat. Because the movie was under the impression that this was the story, but yeah. he's like thirty five or something now, and he's finding out the truth about his parents that didn't really legally adopt him, and they took all his money. And they made him think that he was being adopted but the paperwork that was like filled out was like a conservatorship oh my god so they owned everything the movie the movie that was made they made the money they they claimed they split it five ways movie. but he didn't make anything off the movie what, did they like finally like did they find him after all these years like how did he not i don't know how he just recently found out exactly yeah i'm um, not sure but yeah so oh so this was happening he didn't know this was happening he didn't know that he was that i don't it, know that he wasn't like actually adopted like they took the um, story they profited off of it yeah basically uh the twoies right isn't that how you say the yeah. name um they left ower michael without uh any payment for the rights to his name, likeness, and life story. While the Tui family received a contract price of $225,000 and 2.5% of the film's net proceeds. What? Yeah. They um, got a percent the, from the movie. It's in the film made In the film made th over $300 million. I wonder if Sandra Bullock's gonna like try to help. Um, And she's Maybe. having a rough time. Didn't Sandra Bullock's husband just pass away? I don't know. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. I'm pretty sure, or like her longtime yeah, life I partner, think I, I think so. She Horse. should marry this guy. You know but what? Full circle. Full circle. Damn, but that that has to be 
awkward. There, Zane, there was a funny meme that was like, <laughs> do you know that meme where there's a bunch of people, like a bunch of people sitting around a conference table and they're getting up and they're like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And they get up and run. <laughs> yeah. They were like Netflix trying to write the, the, the blind side oh, yeah. or something. <laughs> The blindside. They said blindsided. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of here. I even remember in college, like the sister, isn't her name like Collins or something like that? Yeah. She came and like spoke at our school. And I was like, What? Okay, really? but I'm like, what and it was like Collins Tui from the blind side. And I'm like, Okay, does that mean she's just gonna come out and talk about her like adopted brother Michael and his story? Like right. I'm like, why, why are you on behalf? here? Yeah, 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 why is he and not I, here? You know, that's just her. That's all she probably wants to I talk about. I think the about. whole thing because it was like a rich family that acted like they adopted him. Yeah. I think they knew exactly what they were doing and go, this is a, a, a cash grab. And they were just like, we got to get in on this. Yeah, and they're rich already. Yeah, they rich own. already, but go loaded back, go already. Back up, Jordan, it says I right, feel so bad. It says uh, this, I, it they was, should just make it like just put a donation. Like I feel like so many people would just like just throw money. He wants. Yeah. How about that? It says the conservatorship was granted until he reached the age of twenty five, or until the court terminated the order. But the arrangement was never terminated. It was supposed that's to terminate when he was twenty five. Because that's a beautiful movie. Unbelievable. I love that movie. Yeah. It's I always great. love that line where like the she's having lunch with all the ladies and they're like, oh, so love what you're doing with this boy, Michael. She goes, oh, pro a project for the projects. Well, the money will just raise itself. And she looks at all of them and she goes, shame on you. Shame, <laughs> shame on you. Shame she picks up you. her purse and walks out. Yeah. Shame love on that scene. I think we, <clears throat> you know what they need to do with this fucking movie? If they're legally binded 2.5% of that contract, mm. you just get rid of that fucking movie everywhere. He just needs to get his check for what he's Yeah, deserved. he just needs the money. Well, How much money do th they that's have? That's the thing, they the thing like is that they can't, I don't think they can even sue this family for this, can they? That's what he's going after the family. It wasn't, it wasn't. Oh, it's a lawsuit. Insane. I thought they just got exposed. It okay. wasn't the movie's <laughs> fault. The movie was also blindsided because the family, <laughs> the family lied. And said that they split the money with with Michael, all his earnings, yada yada, but they really didn't. Okay, I take the, I take what I just said back. That was really stupid that I just said that. What? It just hit me that like, get rid of the movie. Oof, you know, get the, rid of the movie. Two point five percent is seven point five million dollars. What? Holy That's what the family made, and they and they already are plus, multi millionaires. Plus the two hundred and twenty five thousand or whatever it said in addition to I'm the two point five percent. Right That's now. fucking sick. Man. I'm sick. Shame right on now. them. Shame, shame on them. them. Shame. We shame. should uh, cancel them. Yeah. We should have Michael hot, on. <clears throat> All right. So how, how what do we do this? Should we hit up like a like a T channel or some shit? Come on now. A T what can we do? I think I think everybody's talking about this right now. People, <laughs> people are upset. No, no. Uh, we're gonna make this happen. Where are the twoies? Who did he play for? Baltimore. You know that mom's Baltimore? just like, get Michael on the phone. Michael, let's talk about this. <laughs> we didn't mean this, you Michael. Know we you did. know, we opened up our hearts in our, our and our doors, doors for you, we Michael. We were trying to protect you, Michael. <laughs> Come on, Michael, pick up, please. <laughs> from people, from people like us. Hey, Michael, it's your mother. <laughs> Michael just puts him on speaker. He's like, guys, all his lawyers are on. He's like, yeah, what's up? Uh huh. So you said. <laughs> Damn. I want Sandra Bullock to just go to them and be like. Embarrass Damn. them. Yeah. Mm. Call them out. How dare you? Mm. I just want to know then what all the other moms are now saying to her. Like, big scandal. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing back at the home? She's And you already know that these people are egomaniacs. Oh, yeah. They loved accessorizing that, that oh, yeah. boy and they probably for their were whole the, family. They, yeah, you know that and, everybody in town knows where they live. Yeah. Oh, that, and they love it. And everybody probably respects them. You know they the probably, husband and wife are anymore? screaming at each other in the house just right this pacing second. up and down their yeah. big old mansion. Good. Good. This was your idea. <laughs> I made my my story off Michael's own <laughs> dreams. That's what we did. Is he doing well? This uh, or or is it yeah, just I think like he, he played in the uh, NFL for eight years? So okay, he, he ended up doing right. well for himself. Because I know he, that was what happened. But I didn't yeah. know how far you got into it. Go oh on. man, Good for him. the shit that's going on in that <laughs> house. <laughs> man, we should get an address. 
We're just kind of like do a little pixie. Little arson. Yeah. She, <laughs> little arson. She, she's going into the salon for like a little touch up. Just fix me up. And she's like, girl, have you been stressed? Because this hair is just. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Prize Picks. If you guys don't know what Prize Picks is, Prize Picks is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America. They're the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. And it's just you against the numbers. Instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks you pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in exactly this is the most fun you can have by winning 25 times more your money this football season you just select two or more players pick more or less on their projected stats and place your entry and prize picks is really simple to play. You can make your picks and submit any entry in less than 60 seconds. Yes, and prize picks offers weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts like Taco Tuesday Ooh. each Tuesday. Prize picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value, baby. And you know what they did, baby? They now offer Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits into your account this football season because I don't want to sit there and put my credit card info in when you could just show your face. It's game on. Period, King. Mm. So make sure to go to pricepicks.com slash unfiltered and use code unfiltered for a first deposit match up to $100. Again, all you got to do is go to pricepicks.com slash unfiltered and use code unfiltered for a first deposit match up to $100. Woo, daily fantasy sports made easy, baby. Thank you, Prize Picks, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you, baby. Oh, man. Uh, did, you guys see, uh, did you guys see that... Uh, the Snapchat AI, it's like what an AI is, yeah. bot, right? So AI, it's an AI bot that kind of just like talk, like chats with you, right? And that's mm -hmm. all it does. But the other day, it just posted by itself. Is that real? I'm pretty sure because Snapchat has not said anything about it. Because I saw a couple people posting. I heard it posting. got taken down. I it got taken down like 10 minutes later. But it was something the AI posted to the story. Yeah. Do so you think they were oh. like testing a feature out? Like uh, maybe getting us to talk about it's it? A, it's a weird ass picture to post. It's, it's like just a, like, it's like a, a line. Yeah, it was the like a ceiling, right? Like the corner of a ceiling. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. That makes me think somebody had their phone like this and it just snapped it. Like, oh, just like so, just somebody that's like on the account, like running it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, isn't AI so good where like it can maybe post on its own? Yeah. That's what it's doing right now is just posting text. That's a problem. That's so much fun. Not Look what cool. it's posting. Now I want it to take a picture of me on my phone. Oh, Let's and get a crazy. there's on both sides. I gotta set my phone. I love my Snapchat AI. I talk to it a lot. Is it white and gold? Yeah, I mean, I it's, it's just a strange like photo. Yeah. Oh, okay, there, there was one thing that I think we all got in the group chat. Did you see the thing of the group chat about the, um, the submarine? Mm hmm. Yes. What Did you watch it? it? I think. Wait, no, I okay. Didn't. You know how the whole world, like the, the, the government, the, the president, everybody. They're sending out like resources and spending millions of dollars to search for this submarine that's got, only got so many hours left of oxygen. And it's like every it's all over the news and everybody's talking about it. And they're just spending millions and millions of dollars for like search and rescue missions. Mm -hmm. Right. But, but both the Navy and the I forget what was the um, other one. The, the company that basically runs the ship the, they were uh, in submarine. contact with them the entire time until they said oh we're buzzing red we're buzzing red or so they were sending back alarms that something was wrong and they were in contact they couldn't the like the buoyancy <clears throat> device that would like get them back up wasn't working so the whole of this thing was like cracking <gasps> And oh. the alarms were going off oh, on the system inside sunk. the sub so they're that like they could hear they're like send it back up Oh and gosh. they were trying to send it back up, but the buoyancy wasn't working. So they pushed the motors full speed to try to like steer it back up. But it was only going up like, I think it was like 45 feet every like hour or something. It was like, oh it was gosh. not climbing back up. So the alarms are still going off red. So people are inside were like alive, freaking out, sending messages back up to the surface that like something is yeah. going terribly and that's what wrong. They heard. Well, they, they, they could transmit back and forth to the sub. Just um, the alarm. They're not like messaging and talking. Yes. yes. Are they talking? Yes. They can send messages back and forth. So oh they were like, gosh. ascent is at this rate, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we're just not, we're not able this. to go up. So they just released like the <clears throat> transcribed, whatever documentation of it. But I think it's just wild to put like put and the whole world at this like. They're, they would message back and forth and be like, what's the update? What's going on? And they were getting updates. And then all of a sudden it just completely stopped. Oh my gosh. So my what heart. happened was it ended up 
using all the power to try to use the motors to get back up and it shut the whole thing down because it like it had no more yeah, energy left. It had no more energy. So it free dived all the way down, no power. Yeah. Oh, until it got no. low and then it ended up imploding. And they picked up the implosion on the radar and knew exactly what that was this entire time from the beginning. Ocean Gate did knew about and it. The and Navy. the Navy. And the, why the why hold time. that information and while the whole world is like guessing is, and wondering yeah, and panicking about these people. But they oh. knew the whole time, which is crazy that they would even Nobody at the Navy can just report to the press that information. Like, I mean, I'm sure there's I'm sure like man, they can't their just lips say are anything. sealed. Any there's insiders yeah. in Navy, everything Navy they let you know. Like, I just I just like that like doesn't make sense to me. To like withhold yeah, this is or, but, yeah. or at the same time, dude, the news just this loves is, keeping it on and telling you this is what's going on and it keeps people more tuned maybe, in. But like it's the news also extract. I, I wonder it. like who I'm sure like I'm sure there's people in the neighborhood like we should tell somebody and like what the head is just like no. Right. But they're they're the like Where's the humanity? It just it does, it just didn't make sense to me. It's just very weird. These are the messages back and forth. Oh, I don't know if I wanna this is awful. Oh yeah. Gosh. I mean, you guys could look at it. We're not going to read it. It's like kind of Yeah, this sad. is really but sad. You will look up what they were saying back and forth. Oh, that must have been so scary. I just think about that kid that was on there. That's so sad. Yeah. Yeah, it's really awful. I have this uh, This in New York. They did an anti-rat day and they were killing all these rats. Oh, yeah. The, the rats are not welcome. Wait, anti-rat day for Matt King. Uh... <laughs> Is there that many rats running around right now? Oh yeah, in New York City, it's a big problem. Well, people have been complaining. I thought it's always been a and problem. Then, but then they like elected a woman to be like head of the initiative. <laughs> head of, of like, the rat. Head of the anti-rat. Rat king. Yeah, there was like a huge like campaign of people running to be like part of like the, the anti-rat movement to like make well, the initiatives bigger. And it was kind of, it was really like a funny election because all their speeches were like, the rats are gonna hate this. Like if you're a rat, you are not what, welcome. And what were their like plans to exterminate the rats? Um, getting rid of the areas where they think that they've been nesting and stuff like a lot of like the trash areas under um like there's a lot of like these nooks like in the and i thought like that was something that they always do to try to take care of just to yes no? but it's been like neglected and they're trying to just bring it more to the forefront of making people talk about it and uh make sure that they crack down on uh, anti-rat movement yeah i so, want to be a part of it and so they yeah they started it what in harlem it was like their first big like anti-rat day and they just everybody just like all the, the, the little rat rats the size of crocs yeah that's what the woman said oh, there yeah, are rats out here the size he, of crocs i've seen some big nasty rats out in new york the biggest rats i've ever seen and they're oh, chunky they're thick they look yeah. kind of cute like yeah, you can pick it up cute. and make it a pet because there is a lot of food there for me they're eating constantly there's fucking trash i know because the trash there's no alleyways there or like Really the the way they have there. to get rid of trash, it's just disgusting. Out Imagine there. getting bit like that guy <laughs> picking it up. Imagine it just turns and hits you on your finger real quick. I would freak. Yeah. I, mean, oh. I think I would go into like an like what's, a shock what's and the, panic. What's a disease that you, like you could get from if a rat bites you? What? Well, you need like a tetanus shot because you could get like rabies. 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 Right? I haven't tetanus? said that word no, in a long time. This is for metal. Um, oh, just they rabies. can carry a lot of diseases, <laughs> rats yeah. Gross. Death to all of them. Uh, oh, no, it's bad. gross. It's really bad. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that, that's me, a me, at, me at midnight coming back from the kitchen. <laughs> you at Dober? No, that's Shredder taking it down to the Teenage Mutant Ninja uh -huh. Turtles. That's their master trying to bring them a slice of pizza. Oh, uh, uh, help her out. <laughs> I'd be like, where do you need to go? Honestly, that's you. cute as fuck. I would. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah. It's so crazy. A squirrel is the same thing, but for some reason, they're just so much yeah more desirable they are and, they and, and, but do, yeah go on no they're just like cuter and i feel like they are more friendlier and all it is is a fluffy tail I yeah think, are their appetites different though like a squirrel like goes after just like nuts it like a squirrel squirrels things away they stow and stuff rats are i think like no, i don't squirrels know squirrels go, go for trash. garbage they go through yeah. a trash people have pet rats right yeah, yeah. that's oh, a thing yeah big time i think r rats are fun pets i think they're like, like hamsters so mm -hmm. wait did you, oh, speaking of hamsters, <laughs> did you hear what they're talking about now? So hamsters, <gasps> Don't, it's awful. Because it's awful. I'm a victim. Did you ever have a hamster? Yeah, I did. A hamster named Shorty. And 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 what season did it pass away? Um, mine in this was summer winter. Time. No, mine was summertime. Was I got summer? back from- Okay, then you might be okay. Yeah, I got back from family vacation. I remember that day and my, my friend was taking care of it the whole time. And I get back and my hamster's dead. 
So I'll apparently, never <laughs> mine died Christmas morning. Okay, whoa, uh, died. So people are just finding out that they hibernate. So they're thinking their their frozen hamster that's not moving is dead. What? And they freak out and they go, "Oh my god, my hamster just died!" But they didn't know that they like hibernate and they won't move. And they were like. Even if you're like tapping them, like they won't yeah. wake up. There was a girl who posted a TikTok and she said, we were about to bury my brother's hamster because he died. She said he's, she has it in her hand like this and he's not moving. He's frozen. His eyes are open. It's cold to the touch. Okay. Yeah. My hamster was cold. cold. So yeah. was mine. It wasn't like limp. Yes. So was mine. It was stiff and cold. And she goes, we were going to bury him, but, and she goes, and he starts moving. All you what? need is a little bit of hot air. So then she Googled yes. it and she was like, they hibernate. So all the comments were like, did I bury my hamster oh, alive? No, and after, then I was thinking back to my hamster. He died in the winter. We kept him <laughs> in the basement and it was probably cold and he was hibernating and staying warm. And we You buried, buried him alive, you I monster. Oh my God. I don't know. I think mine was in December or was it Christmas? And I got back from family vacation. <laughs> it was right when I got back from vacation. But yeah, they warmed it back up. <laughs> right, you're a fucking murderer. So is he. Well, because my it name- It looks my like Jordan. I don't know. Jeez. Five, five of them. My neighbor said she swore that the hamster was moving around the day before, and then I got home. But are they like still slightly breathing though? I feel like you can see a hamster know. like. Can, is there anything that can back me up? This is a video that I found. Lisa nearly buried her hamster look up on, fudge. Look up on TikTok, I killed my rat, <laughs> or I thought. They, it, <laughs> says, it says they hibernate for two to three days, but if the temperature is low, they may re remain in hibernation for up to a week. Oh wow! Oh, we oh my which is crazy God. to think about because, like, like most hamsters that pass away, everybody says it's just sudden. There's never like a sickness leading oh up to it. God. Ours yeah. wasn't sick. It just, Ours was running around. We woke up Christmas morning and he was just thought it was time. Still, it says a hamster will hibernate for as long as it is as it is cold and under eighteen degrees Celsius, sixty five <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit. That can mean the entire winter and part of spring. You. You killed him. How do I know if my hamster is hibernating? <laughs> so I, I think it'll, just... it'll appear to be dead. They will be cold to the touch and may feel stiff or limp. Oh, they will why doesn't drink. anybody tell you about there this? Will, there will be no, no no visible. It'll say there, there will be no visible heartbeat or respiration, but you need. <gasps> what? And it Matt. will be very shallow oh. breathing if you look okay. close it's enough. Okay. It's okay. Mariah. It's okay. Shorty. <laughs> Shorty, I'm sorry. Mariah, you're, you're gonna hate when I say this. Sometimes I feel like there's no God because <gasps> why would God? Okay. Why would to God? Again, why would we do this to those poor fucking hamsters? It's not why their fault. They're fine. Yeah. They would wake back up. It's our fault there's for throwing no them away. What? Throwing after, them away after a week? I who just... keeps their dead hamster in their cage for a that's, week? That's a lack of knowing what oh animal you have. Oh my God! I feel like I'm gonna be no, I'm sick. sick yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be sick. sick. Check on your hamsters. I should, you know, the sweatshirt that says like, check on your friends. <laughs> check on your hamsters. Mariah, everybody right now. Just... <laughs> Breathe. Well, honestly, okay. I'm, I'm thinking when we buried him, it wasn't that deep. So I'm hoping he just dug himself out. <laughs> oh yeah. A wild hamster. <laughs> <laughs> you know, his termite friends, his termite friends came to help him out. Stop. Got him out of that coffin. I'm sick. Please stop. Oh my gosh. Hamsters waking up in their coffin. <laughs> <laughs> I made a whole tombstone for mine. I got like oh a brick and I chiseled out his that, name that and everything. You, and we always sick. had it out in the garden. That's what a murderer would do. Shorty. Bury his hamster alive and then give him a tombstone. I guess we didn't know. We just didn't yeah, know. Yeah, people say hamsters don't live that long. I think, and yeah, I think they my, do. And when it died, I think my parents were like, oh, it's dead. And like, yeah, now we're done go. with this. Yes. We don't have to deal with this shit anymore. Yes, we had, our cage was like three stories high. Yes. Oh, and it was a bitch to clean. We find, yes. out, we find, out, we find out humans don't die. They just hibernate too. And they're just, <laughs> oh. All right, hold on. Wait a minute. That's bad. That's bad. I want to know the percentage of hamsters. And I did, and I felt like I didn't even want to look at it too when it oh, died. Like yeah, it was like, it was oh quick. no, it died. And they picked it up, but I was like, my no, dad, let's check if it's breathing. Like that, yeah. I was just remember being like, my oh. dad took care of it, and we all stood in the. Okay, so if you think your hamster is dead, give it like a week and a half, or and yeah. see if it moves. A week and a half is a good it. amount of time. Breathe on it. Yeah. Get it Put, warm. Get a blow dryer. I just can't believe like. 
it's it's so are we sure it's warmth or it, it, like it, it's anything it, it just, just said 65 degrees fahrenheit could. i don't even want to text my mom to ask like <laughs> when it was i know it was after vacation i felt like it was hot though it says never bury your hamster <laughs> <laughs> Just put it off to the side. If you are in doubt that your hamster may not be dead, please do not bury them. Oh your my gosh! Hamster will die oh. if buried alive, and, and they, they will, will suffer. suffer. They will suffer, boy. You know what? We didn't. I, <laughs> I have to like get over it because like I'm really upset. But then I'm like, oh, well, it just happened. What? That's, that's wild. Hey, that was terrible. I was literally in second grade, and I'm I'm like distraught right now. I feel bad. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hamsters are so precious, man. They are. They're so easy. Little I remember when my parents got me the hamster, they're like, this is your hamster. It will die. <gasps> like they were like big, like it's going to die. How, like, how long did it live? How I feel like long? two years, like two years, I think. Yeah. Shorty. I named him after like, remember Mac Miller had that. No, wait, fuck, what am I talking about? Who was the kid that had that TV show? Lil Romeo. Mm. Lil, Lil Romeo. Romeo. And he had that clothing line called like Shorty. Didn't we just see him in Vegas? <laughs> did we? <laughs> what? I think yeah. we did. <laughs> we did. He was a but DJ. It's, Rome my, it's Romeo now. My, Romeo. my hamster was our second grade class pet. And at the end of the oh, year- you won? We got to, if you got a permission slip signed to take it home, she would put the permission slips in a circle and put the hamster in the middle. And whoever it went to, you got to take it. What? So that was, <laughs> is it illegal to have like a, a hedgehog out here? Illegal? I think I've heard that in LA, it's illegal to have a hedgehog. I think so. Can we look that up? There's no one to be spread. <laughs> I think I was curious to have one at one point. Except for Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's groundhog. Oh, ground. <laughs> so close. It's illegal to keep hedgehogs are illegal to keep as pets yeah. in the state of California. I wonder if it's like a weather thing. Like if they, if they. Everything's fucking illegal. Maybe it gets yeah. too hot. I don't know. Maybe hedgehogs was, are pretty cool. You know what's a crazy animal? A porcupine. Yeah. Yes. That is some wild He has some defense evolution. mechanisms. They get soft. They can make it soft too, right? I'm or is it always. from Homeward Bound where the dog gets attacked by the porcupine and yes. ends up with the quills all in its mouth. And was that a real dog? In Homeward Bound, they were like, oops, like, Wait, we gotta get this shot. <laughs> do you think How they, they do that? I don't think it was part of the movie. I think it just happened so they wrote it in. Oh, that poor, <laughs> that was oh such God. a sad, scary scene. Oh, stop. Do you I think, do you think porcupines movie? stab themselves all the time? I think they point the opposite way. How do they have sex? Like, oh, get like, oh, oh. Watch out. like, wait, how do you have, how does a porcupine have sex if it's going to penetrate with a bunch of quills? There's a lot of animals I don't understand. Damn, those, they are pretty cute though. Giraffe? I uh, don't get it. Oh, damn. they do. I, I think I've seen a video of it before. Of them? On the, on the, yeah, like the dark web. Elephants? <laughs> my new dream is to see a baby giraffe because they're like my height. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Wait, really? I just, I, saw were... one, I just saw a video of one for the first time and I completely forgot like they have to be that size you, you, at some point. You know, they have a Malibu wine safari thing where you can feed giraffes? Not anymore. I did, I did it. For oh my, yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we did do did. it. They got oh, not anymore. Since COVID, they got caught. They, he wasn't certified or was, something. Oh! They took oh. him away. It's wild how like those kind of animals, like they birth and they can just get up and start walking. Like a <laughs> horse. Like, Whoa, how did that? We didn't uh, need to teach it. Anything. I, yeah, I it saw takes someone us a year. Yeah. I saw someone say say that it's crazy that animals anim, uh, animals can just get out of the womb and start walking, except for humans. Yeah. Yeah. We're the Weird. only species that you can But how freaky would that be though? Just babies coming out like <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. people walking out of the hospital with their baby. <laughs> Dean Dean couldn't walk. Oh, you're a kitten. Not even a little bit. No, they don't walk. Well, and then his front legs started working, but his back were dragging. Well, he was, he was, he like, was a special one. He was, remember? Was, I think he was preemie. Look how cute. Wow, that's oh, a Oh, cool. that's adorable. <laughs> Imagine Look standing next to that thing. <laughs> oh, hell no. What's next to him? What is that? A, gir a bigger giraffe? A placenta? Oh. Oh, he was probably oh. just born. That's his stuff. Well, they're probably feeding <laughs> it like a dead it rabbit. Smells amazing. You <laughs> say they're adorable. feeding it a dead rabbit? I don't know. Wait, wait. wait, wait it's a, it's a, a I'm stupid. I don't know anything. It looks like it looks like a dead animal, but like ripped apart. Do you remember Joffrey Toys R Us? Like how their mascot was like, oh, yeah. I thought you like a King giraffe. Wait, is it not Jeffrey? It's Jeffrey? It's spelled well, G E O or whatever. Oh, I guess jo anytime that's uh, written Joffrey that way, I'm like, Ballet I think it's School. Joffrey. Oh, that only in Game of Thrones is Joffrey. I don't it's think anybody. Jeffrey. <laughs> we know nothing. We just oh my God, that's the line for Game of Thrones. Nice. Uh, <laughs> wow. I didn't even mean to do it. You drink and you know things. 
Okay. Oh yeah, look at these hurricanes that are coming here. What's coming her name? Again. What's her name? Hillary. Hillary, pretty. Wait, wait. Towards California, there's like five brewing right it's now. It's supposed off to rain coast. this weekend, right? There's never been a hurricane hit California, has there? I'm I don't saying think that's the Baja Peninsula right there. California is up at the top. I know, but it's it's look, it's heading. Up. It's gonna head oh, up. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, we're gonna get a lot of rain. I bet. I think the last hurricane to hit California was like 1850 or something like that. Look that up. Oh, bring it on. That's dude. Our city would be fucked if we got hit by a hurricane. But we not, are not prepared for that. Nobody's going to know what to do. No one. Could it hit over here these, that bad? Buddy, these houses on the hill are going to be sliding Stop. down. <laughs> I think we're going to get a ton of rain if it's that close. Because love, the, and you the, know how our city is with rain. Who Never is, prepared. Who is just the sorting hat wizard at the weather station who's like, Hillary. Yeah. <laughs> it's Linda. I Yo, honestly would love that job. But, but like, why are they like, they how go do they come the, up with they the names? They go through the alphabet. Order. No, I know that, but like, what, like, why do they come up with the names they do? Because it has to be like bound in historic to the time. I don't know. Uh, it, it signifies it because they can't be like Hurricane 3. Point, I don't know. It's just, it helps. It's good to name it. Not tropical storm, like full blown hurricane. Hurricane Linda, 1997. Oh wow! A hurricane Matthew happened in like 2016. Ugh, no, I got I, I hit up one. all my friends named Matt, and I said I think you should tell your friends who are named Matt to donate, and it became this like big thing where like I got a bunch of Matts. Every Matt. If it's your name, I feel like you should donate money. But there's only ten Zanes in the world, so we all have to donate this ridiculous. Wait, wasn't of there a Zane? Hurricane Zane? I don't think so. It Z sounds they, good. They can't go through. There isn't a lot of Z's. Z hurricane Zach and Hurricane Zane. Yeah, but they have to spell it like me. They also alternate boy girl. Oh right. damn, Zane! This Hurricane Zane caused seventy four billion dollars worth of damage. What? Zane, how when dare you? Seventy four billion? Shame on you! Oh, this was it shows the whole 20, United States. It was it just wiped. <laughs> it was twenty thirteen in uh, the southwestern Pacific Ocean. How did we not hear about this? I heard about it. We were podcasting. How did we not Is like? There a Hurricane Heath? Twenty thirteen. Hurricane Hell, Heath, ooh, <laughs> four hundred and three oh. billion dollars. No, it's damn. Hurricane Health. Oh. Oh. Mariah, Mariah. Oh, you spelled my name wrong. Ooh. Oh, Hurricane Heath. It's the third cost. Four hundred and six billion. billion, baby. Oh, you third hit, costliest one. Oh, you hit the Bahamas, King. What year was that? Oh, that's a big ass motherfucker. 2025. Wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, are wait, we in the future? Wait, what just happened? <laughs> we were not supposed to see that. <laughs> that oh, was a oh, glitch in the it's matrix. Hypothetical hurricanes. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> we oh, are idiots. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> 400 billion are real okay? We were not supposed to see that. I think there has not been a Hurricane Heath. So yeah, there's, no, yeah, no. there won't be on, on September 2025. That's, that's actually cool. You were a hypothetical though. Someone thought of you. Yeah. Cool. Hurricane Mariah. Oh, no, this happened 20. No, Maria. Maria. Uh, yeah. You'll be the next one. I'll be the next no, one. No, they already used Maria, so they're not going to do Mariah. Yeah, they will. I don't think so. Damn. Thanks a lot. More like Hurricane Tortilla. Tortilla. <laughs> Has that? <laughs> do you think they do that just to be like, uh? And then it ends up being like the worst hurricane ever. Like, <laughs> it was not a good idea. What if brands started like sponsoring hurricanes? I mean, like they pay like, oh, is this like stop. hurricane like Charmin Ultra? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it, but they have to buy it. Her, so her, it like hurricane better help. <laughs> oh <my God>. Hurricane <laughs> HelloFresh. <laughs> hurricane that Cremona. A <laughs> that sounds real. Hurricane Accelerator. <laughs> Before we wrap things up, all jokes aside, obviously, um, I'm sure everybody has seen what happened in Maui and the disaster that they've been dealing with. It's awful. Um, and we do want to leave a couple links in the description below. Um, ways for everybody to help out if they want to. And Donate to people who it's, need. It's just really sad seeing what happened there and what they've gone through. And it's insane because it's, like it's when I first awful. when I first heard about it, I didn't realize like how how much got burned down it's, yeah, until it's I really looked at a map and like just zoomed into where like where it showed red. Scary. The, in, it's the entire city. Yeah. yeah. It's so a lot horrible. of people, a lot of families need help. So we're gonna put links and if you can comment links yeah and if you guys you know, know any, reliable yeah, links yeah. to help people uh, out that would be better. i know there's like decks where like there's like it shows like or it um it'll list families like families directly that are um affected by this leave that too and we'll leave all the links in the description below it's so sad yeah it's just so sad how like fast a fire can happen like that yeah
Like it's something like you can't even like. It happens so fast. It just like do- <laughs> it looks like a bomb hit the city. It's just everywhere. Everything it's just, is just, just level. Complete ashes. It's crazy how quick it happened. And then I heard people were trying to like like the water was even on fire because all of the debris that landed on the water was still yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of um, Zane Heath Unfiltered. Uh, you can check out these episodes every Monday, audio form on all the podcast platforms. And we also post a video form of these podcasts every Tuesday on youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. We appreciate you guys watching and um, we love you guys. Love you. Thank you. Ciao. See you next week.